The B.C. government is the latest Canadian casualty of hackers. Uh, there's no evidence at this point that uh, any uh, uh, sensitive uh, uh, personal information was accessed, and obviously we will uh, update uh, uh, the public more once we have the ability to do so. He says the province is working with Cybersecurity Canada. Cyber attacks have been ramping up in Europe and the U.S. Here at home, London Drugs recently reopened its stores after the company decided to do a near total shutdown for five days due to a cyber attack. The company said it can't and won't release more information as that could put it further at risk. The B.C. government is taking the same approach. The moment that you do that, if you haven't secured everything, if you haven't understood what's taking place, you are then making the system more vulnerable. Eight days ago, Premier David Eby was asked about a request from the Office of BC's Chief Information Officer to government employees to change their passwords, and he said he couldn't share more information at that stage. Still, the official opposition questioned the timing of when the public was informed about the cybersecurity threat to the province. Eight days. This, uh, this cyber attack was concealed, only uh, for the Premier to issue a quiet statement while everyone was busy watching last night's Canucks game. Some cybersecurity experts say hackers are looking to collect ransom or raid data to sell on the dark web, for example, health information. But for the government organizations, they need to understand that what is going on in this night attacker world. Making cyber attacks more complex is the use of AI, artificial intelligence, instead of people to hack into a system. But now the generative AI can technically replace those individuals, and sometimes they can provide more sophisticated type of attack. So far, the BC General Employees Union representing government workers says it doesn't have more to add than what's been made public. For now, the investigation continues. Mira Baines, CBC News, Victoria.